Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Like a Dark Trap and welcome back to a new episode in our channel. So in this episode in Zedon, as you can see here, I've tried to grind a little bit of resources uh, on the off time and something interesting happened during that time so I decided to start recording. I would have really wanted to um, like do some, some more things like uh, more scavenging. Uh, because I found out that once you, or it seems to me that once you build something in your camp, you will not be able to, um, uh, you will not be able to move it anymore. Which is really unfortunate because I really wanted to move out of this place and move towards, uh, let's see, where is that place? I think the city was somewhere around here. Which is really um, something important. But it's actually on the edge of the map as well. Which is also something that's not really that good. Uh, right now, we are not in the middle of the map. But we are in the middle of... Uh, well, sort of the middle of uh, three very useful tiles. Which are the towns. So it should be fine, I guess. Or I think... Uh, oh, actually, I didn't see this one. Um, there's a cache here that has been dropped by a an airplane. I didn't see that one. Maybe it was before. Um, but so yeah, there's this thing here. Um, I wanted to update you um, on the things that happened. So during the off time that I was grinding, I found another medic here. Uh, which will be who will be really important so i will try not to let him die once again that is going he's going to be really important to our group uh, because he can spawn a lot of uh, he can spawn uh, like uh, medic bags which is really really useful right so yeah i will try not to um, make him die I will turn on that one and let's see here. Can we give him other things? Not really. And also another thing here is a, a brute spawned. And that brute is really powerful. He had like 3000 HP. And then after making his uh, HP go down a little bit, I decided to start recording. And here we are. So now, let us... Uh, I actually am thinking about maybe changing the weapon of some of my guys. Namely, these guys here. But I don't have any bullets, don't I? Yeah, I also don't have any bullets. So that's actually a bummer. So let's try maybe exploring a little bit here. Hopefully, he will not try and fight me. <gasps> oh! Oh, we're going to gain another survivor. Really? Okay, okay. Um, Let's help her. Do we have... Let's see. Uh, we only have that medic bag though. Oh, dude. Uh, yeah, let's try gaining some... Oh, wait. Did we have a secondary medic bag? I think we did because we gained this guy. That's nice. Okay, so we just gained an actor. Um, a zombie actor, uh, which means uh, less likely to be attacked by zombies. Okay, that's fine. Um, actually, here his, uh, here's what we are going to do. We will consume this... Uh, um, no, that's not a can of food. Dude, that's, what's wrong with you? Oh, yep. Okay, yeah, we did indeed consume that uh, medic bag. That's really unfortunate. I, yeah, that's that sucks. Well, let's, I wanted to show you the battle against the, um, what do you call it? Against that guy, the um, brute, because uh, he's actually attacking my base right now. And nobody's in the base defending it. But it should be fine, hopefully. Oh, see? You saw that one? Um, he's attacking my base. And I don't know how long still uh, my base will stay standing. Um, but actually, if the base gets destroyed, I wonder if I can re relocate it. That would be awesome because I, I wanted to relocate it somewhere else before. 
but at this point in time i don't really know where to relocate it anyways so here um another police armory yeah let's uh take that one let's see let's see what uh, we got okay nice so we finally have some ammunitions that means we can fight we can fight that brute um okay so let's get out of here um actually can we stop you from fighting you guys because you cannot fight really Ooh. okay uh let's see here so let's change this one uh let's change these guys again or maybe not should i i mean let, let's try fighting i i i'm not really fond of using firearms but let's try doing that only this time you can see that uh, that red uh, shade that appeared that is like uh, the sound traveling throughout all of these uh, tiles and that's not good because it can attract zombies so you need to be very careful when using firearms because that will attract zombies on your position uh, that's why i'm not fond of it uh, so let's go back to melee weapons again <laughs> let's see if we can fight this guy and also our melee weapons are actually more damaging oh no no that's ah, dude these guys are going to die if i'm not careful they're going to die do we have some pills no we don't have any more pills okay um i, I guess range weapon it is and also where's my guy here let's give you some and uh, oh wait you also have that weapon nice who else doesn't have a weapon here okay you have that that's good uh, somebody that has focus okay you have focus here take this weapon okay our priest has a weapon uh has a gun as well now so yeah let's try fighting fighting against this guy i'm trying to, to keep my distance away from him yep look at that it's attracting all of the zombies i don't want to fight melee right now because uh, you can see my guys are pretty badly hurt so oh shoot okay hopefully we will be able to do this there's some lag in this game i think i don't know if it's my internet connection or if it's just the game but there is some delay sometimes when i click things like it doesn't uh, click on the first time it needs to be clicked again and again which isn't good you know okay come on we're going to oh, oh yeah yeah just like that that happens i don't like that you know that, that there's this delay sometimes maybe it's only me but i don't know uh let's okay that brute had died um you can hear maybe that the um, volume or the sound uh was different while fighting that guy it's because uh it's a it's a sort of a boss battle so that's why maybe it's different oh my god again okay okay something happened that's good nobody died good um we need to go here and continue scavenging for a little while more uh okay hopefully we will find some weapons okay that's good let's continue here oh that's speed okay speed is pretty cool i actually read some like some useful tips online uh on the steam page uh, steam forums and it seems that uh, speed in this game is king so le let's try speeding up our units okay um okay let's see here we have a glove box okay give it to this guy okay let's see here so there's an item you are you are you okay this guy so you need speed or focus yeah let's go for speed were you able to do that okay yeah he was successful in retrieving that item okay that was a shotgun that's fine okay and also these t-shirts sports t-shirts are seems to be the way to go because they give you more speed and speed gives you dodge and it seems that's dodging is like the main thing in this game so yeah let's do that uh let's throw away these things some of them 
Yeah, I'll continue throwing them away. I don't really need that. Oh, also, one of my guys leveled up. Uh, my main guy here leveled up. And I gave him Junkie, which means that he can find additional painkillers when he finds items. I think I already gave that to somebody else. Yep, this guy here, Victoria, which is our psychologist, also has that ability or perk, which is pretty nice because that means we can, uh, like, get these kinds of things. Painkillers that we can use on our survivors. But we must be careful because I remember, if I remember it correctly... And when you, or if you use too much of these uh, painkillers, your, yeah, your units could become addicts. And that's not good. Because bad things could happen if you're not careful on using those painkillers. So, yeah. Let's hopefully, hopefully we will not need to use those anymore. Or not as much. Anyways, oh, another, another one of those. Yeah, uh, give it to this guy. And that one, we will be giving that to somebody else like yeah give it to this guy oh you can only flee oh okay speed yeah you have enough speed good he was able to successfully escape nice and i think we found another painkiller okay give it to this guy because he's at 3 hp that's not good um Okay, I think I'm gonna pause here for now, guys. I will be continuing to grind a little bit. And let's see how it goes. And you guys, just a few seconds after I decided to grind, um, I had this event. This is a random event where there is a survivor where, where you will need to amputate an infected limb. And let's see how it goes because I re don't remember. I think I chose somebody to have lobotomy or was it called the lobotomy or something? No, maybe that's not it. But it gives you like 20% uh, more success chance when you are trying to amputate limbs. Let's see if this guy will live. Luckily, he's not one of our survivors. He is like uh, somebody else. So let's do that. Oh, he actually lived. Okay, and also... He's a priest. That's fine. Oh, can we go on? Um, yeah, put these guys on. on. And also, remember, uh, we already had a... Um, what do you call it? Um, we already have something for him to replace his arm. So he's one of those guys that I will keep inside of the base for right now, I think. Uh, if not, then I... Uh, because... And maybe later I will try to boot him out. <laughs> Just because um, I will need to do that. Because uh, him lacking one of his arms, he will become a burden later on. So, yeah. Unfortunately, that's how it goes in this game, it seems. So, yeah. That's what we are going to do. Uh, let's see here. Focus. Yeah, give him this one. Going to change things here. <clears throat> how we operate also can you please con join us on this one yeah, I'm just gonna skip turns oh another oh, cowboy hat ha hat ha hat yeah Ca cowboy hat oh my god okay um, let's see okay this guy what do you have you have speed or endurance uh, let's go with focus. You don't have focus. Let's go with speed. Oh, the trap exploded. Was he injured? I don't know. Maybe. Okay, let's continue here. I'm not gonna um, grind anymore for this episode because uh, there could be... Um, uh, Oh, okay. Uh, there could be events like this one that I, I would want to show you. So, this guy, let's see, who is she? She's this one. So, you have either focus, speed. Okay, let's go for focus. Oh, she was seen. So, she lost some HP there. Oh, wait. Oh, that's not losing HP. Um, That's, okay. That's what's happened. So, those alarms spawn zombie hordes for you to fight. So, you need to be careful there. When doing those things. And also, uh, remember to click the scavenge button again, the exploration button, because sometimes it doesn't uh, 
it doesn't uh, they don't your guys will not go on their own back to the activity that you left them oh okay so we're full actually now so let's see let's go here give it to this guy and okay let's go back to main base and drop off everything here for now oh look at our base okay nice let's fight all of these guys okay that's fine okay here we will be yeah I, I don't know what happens if for example all of these things like become destroyed i really wonder what happens then okay now we have some items here uh i will be yeah recycling everything here also oh i should have taken this one with me before oh you dude you can have your arm back you can have this one and here let's see let's see what what should we do here hmm Yep, uh, and let's take this one as well. well. You never know if we will need to fight again in range. So also take this one, give it to somebody else. Here, let's see. I will give you a weapon. Doesn't really matter which weapon. And also this one. So now he has a prosthetic arm and negates amputation, negative bonus. So that's good. Now here... Uh, we have this guy, you have a range weapon, range weapon. I will give everybody in my group a range weapon, uh, a secondary range weapon. Okay, and let's continue exploring and grinding. Okay, yeah, oh, here, here it is again, another one. Let's amputate the leg this time oh he's a lumberjack oh he would have been so nice to have in our group oh okay um here we go uh, let's put you on i'm just gonna take them all for now but i i think i remember reading that this is actually not that uh, good of a strategy but you know what i i want just want to have more people for now intelligence do you have enough no you only have one can we force the safe oh yeah that's not good no 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 sorry oh right so this happens because yeah oh we need to get rid of this guy either we boot them we boot him away or yeah we need to split um let's split him up yes and oh dude my other guys are going to be hurt I don't like amputees here because oh he will just die you know what uh, you're too much of a bother anyway so i'm gonna boot you out sorry sorry but that's just the way it is going to be um i think that will be lowering the morale a little bit of my units let's do this let's help him and he gave us something as a reward we help a survivor and he gave us some something useful okay we have another cowboy hat so let's take that i'm gonna keep this um sports helmet thing because i don't remember if it is one of the things that you need for a speedy build so there are certain builds that you can uh, do in this game and i think one of the, the speedy build is like the meta right now so yeah we will i will try to build that one with all of my units okay another one of those that's fine and this one i will do this and i will get rid of those other things that i don't need okay oh that's a nice weapon yeah uh, give it to somebody no you know that let's just do this that's fine and this one let's see that's 10 18 i think it's better than this one. yep Let's get rid of this because it will only give me like something anyways oh okay oh some of these things i really need to get rid of 
luckily this uh, town is giving us a lot of food as well so that's fun that's fine okay give it to this guy I will need to accumulate all of these trainers before I think I, I was just dumping them away which is unfortunate if I had read the um, speedy build before this uh, I would have been able to accumulate more of those and yeah that would have been a lot nicer now oh yeah okay come with us that's fine oh you're a farmer nice okay yeah that's that's useful a farmer is pretty useful so let's give you some things i'll give you this uh let's see what else um actually can you please join us okay that should be fine Ooh, another one okay yeah give it to this guy that should be fine yep Oh, another weapon. Oh, we have a level up, guys. So, let's see here. So, you are our psychiatrist. You already have Junkie. I could go for Lightfoot. Lightfoot is useful because it gives you less percentages of triggering traps or dangerous situations. So, less negative events will happen. So, let's do that. Uh, do I have that same thing for him? for our VIP yes we do have light foot with him that's nice uh, you are okay you're doing your job good um, here we can give things to our guys here again let's see speed here get rid of that other one um, these things I think I will need to get rid of them the binoculars I don't really need them right now uh, let's see to kill oh yeah let's kill all of the zombies and let's see although you killed all the zombies the survivor took advantage of an opening and ran away okay yeah that's fine um sometimes they are grateful and give you some things sometimes they don't oh our preacher our priest actually said something so faith is the only light that guides us through this darkness okay fine that should have uh, given some morale bonus or morale boost to our units i think it's one of those random events that happens every once in a while yeah let's go here oh really oh my god i should have triggered it with oh, i should have done something else there then um okay let's uh stop exploring let's kite these guys oh that was a oh that's so nice these katanas are so good they're powerful dude they're really good they're able to eliminate a lot of enemies Oh, and also we have another level up. So let's see here. Um, I usually go for light foot. So should we continue with light foot? Also here you can upgrade their stats if you want. But usually these things here um, give you um, more things, better things, I think. So oh, we can also go for evasion actually. But let's go for uh, light foot for now. That's usually what I do for my main characters. Um, let's see. Let's go here. Okay. Oh, we found something. Oh, we found another one of these. Okay, that's fine. We are finding a lot of these things. Okay. And let's leave. Okay, come here. We will eliminate you right now. okay oh nice another level up on our vip that's really good now i can give him evasion this time around or good eyes no actually evasion so that he will not need to uh, heal himself as much uh this guy we already gave him that nice um also you are one of my main guys i think right so you're the police so yeah i want you to be able to evade i'm actually going to think about these things so the priest i want him into the main group the this wait oh i think i changed his name somehow yeah i'm gonna give you a random name i don't know um okay given this give him this as well 
let's see the medic i definitely want him in my main group as well so i'll probably have like six seven people in the main group and then a second group like that will just stay in camp build things and scavenge the nearby towns while my main group will uh, go around um, scout for survive other survivor bases survivor camps and things like that okay let's get rid of all of these uh, i i would really like to have something here uh, that will enable me to automatically put everything here that would be very nice what does this give me um some components some mechanic and mechanic pieces okay and let's get rid of all of these things let's take this one mm, okay nobody needs healing right now any healing um okay here we can start building some things oh we can repair things as well okay this is done let's continue scavenging for a little while more Oh, what's this? Uh, yeah, nearest window. She was successful to do that because she has some speed. So really, speed is really good in this game. So yeah, we will try to do that now. <laughs> it seems to be the the only right thing to do. Ooh, okay. And oh, here again. Do you have some speed? Yeah, you do have some speed. Look at that. Oh my goodness, you're able to retrieve the item. Dude, only now do I know. Uh, this thing so that was a zombie uh, and it gave us morale killing it let's see you have 913 yeah take 1015 here oh, 1017 seems to be nicer 1018 oh another level up so the katanas um give you like 1522 in attack which is really nice boost up boost that up with your with more strength and that's going to be even better um here we have this guy we have our military man let's see what should i give you um i will be giving you light foot for now so that you will trigger trigger less um less negative events uh here we have confidence so now since he has uh, 65 morale you can see that uh, he is confident. I think if it's yellow, it's still s just encourage. So yeah, encourage gives you 10% chance to double damage. And confident gives you 20% to double damage. That's very nice. Oh, and oh, dude, this one. Uh, what a terrible fate. Ula found that her infancy friend is now a zombie. Give the most humane uh, thing here humane death unfortunately that will still lower her lower her morale let's continue scouting oh nice we've just crafted a medic bag thanks to this guy nice yep mark just crafted a medic bag very nice okay that's something give it to somebody Oh, cowboy hat. I, li I like cowboy hat. We're going to be the cowboy uh, group with lots with uh, with that hat. Oh, enemies, enemies, enemies. I'm seeing you. I see you. Okay. Yeah, eliminate. Ooh, one strike and he was dead. One stroke and he was dead. That's very nice. oh another weapon very nice uh yes let's help the survivor and we gained another survivor here we have she's a psychologist um she could be on the secondary group really or in the main group as well it's not really that it doesn't really matter that much um we have we already have a psychiatrist in the group though so yeah we need to think about it Mm, okay so the medi medic bag that was consumed was the first the first aid kit so that's good that it didn't consume our medic bag
Okay, let's continue exploring. So, oh, yeah, let's help the survivor as usual because I want to gain that morale bonus, you know? Oh, look at this guy. He's already at 100. Oh, that's so nice. And also some consumables. I, I really didn't want to give Junkie to this guy, uh, to my main guy, because uh, it's a it's practically a throwaway... Um, it's a throwaway skill or perk. But I... Since I encountered that brute before, I was really worried. So I just, so I had to have more of these painkillers to heal my guys because I knew I would have had to fight. Um, let's try this one. Oh, really? We didn't have enough intelligence, maybe, to do that. I don't know how much intelligence my guys have. So one, two, three, four, wow. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Yeah, that wouldn't have worked. Should have predicted it that it wouldn't have worked. You know, all of my guys are dumb. <laughs> Nobody's intelligent enough. Okay, come on, one more. Okay, oh, nice. That's even a good one. Okay, and yeah, guys, I think I'm gonna end the video here for right now. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. Um, I will try to cut off the grindy parts. Uh, for you so that you will not need to you know watch it anymore uh, oh uh, level up nice um you are our civil engineer hmm civil engineer i'm gonna give you evasion yeah you know what evasion is a something really good anyway so i'll give them evasion every time so guys i'm going to end the video here right now uh, as i've said before i will try to cut out or yeah cut out all of the grindy parts of the game and only show you the important events like for example construction or boss battles or things like that or if we encounter another camp, another survivor camp. So yeah, uh, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to click that like button down below and also subscribe to the channel. I would appreciate it a lot if you did so and you would help me grow our uh, this channel. Once again, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. I'm Like and Dark Trap, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.